What's cracking eggs? Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV. I'm your host, Shang Shriota. Um, between episodes, I, uh, I did move to the new data center. Um, because when I was recording that, uh, the channel update video, it ran a lot better than it did, than it normally did, which maybe, I mean, I wasn't in, in a really, like, high highly populated area or anything, but, you know, whatever, I figured it was fairly, I mean, yeah. But yeah, so I, I did move over, which means I got, um, I, I, I and I now have a big chocobo. This was my bribe for getting out of the big, uh, leaving ether. Um, yeah, also I used a Fantasia and now I have a white eye on one side. Um, so that it looks cool. Yeah. If they had a hairstyle that would be dyed where it would be, um, half of it, like, like, like this half would be one color and then this half would be another color, that would be cool. I would like that. Hey, Yoshi P, get on it. Anyway, um... What's up, Horshavon? Let's, 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 let's get back to what we're supposed to be doing. Uh, the man with knowledge of the Enterprise who hates you outside. I pray his information proves useful to you. Okay. Oh, right. Today's uh, minion is going to be... Da -da 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 Cloud. Did I? Hold on. Maybe that's not what I wanted. Because there is a title. It, I mean, if you use a certain title... Do I have that title yet? I have no titles. Okay, never mind. Um. Hey, gay. Uh, how quickly the commoner's opinions change. They say Lord Francel is innocent now, but just a few days prior. Anyway, you were inquiring as to the whereabouts of an airship last seen in Curthus several days before the calamity, yes? Well, it so happens that I was uh, monitoring the night sky at the observatorium during that period. I recall that a small vessel came from the direction of Gridania and l landed near the stone vigil in the far, far northwest. The garrison almost certainly seized the vessel and brought it within their walls. If so, then you would need an army of knights to have any hope of securing it. Though Lord Horshafont is, from all indications, quite fond of you, so, uh, though Lord Harsh Horshafont is, from all indications, quite fond of you, so I hope he can lend you a few. In any case, I have done my part. I shall pray for your success, friend. I okay, goodbye. Um. Hey, dude, lend me some knights. Oh, so you've at last located the Enterprise, I believe. Congratulations are in order. The Stone Vigil? Ah, perhaps I spoke too soon. The outpost has been held uh, by the dragons for years, and all access is restricted by decree, by decree of House Durandair. I will write a letter to Lord Dreamont and of White Brim Fund and request that he grant you permission to enter. That said, I fear my imp influence alone will not suffice, so I suggest that you request Lord Francel to do, to do the same. Now that your business in Champ Camp Gra Dragon Head is concluded, I suspect we may not meet again for some time. I wish you well on your journey, Shanks. May Halone guide you. Alright, bye, dude. Have a good life. I'll see you later, maybe. Or maybe never, maybe. I don't know. I'm pretending I've never played this game before. And don't know anything. Just silly. Anyway, let's go talk to Lord Francel. The Scourge of the Firmament. I was playing back um, that update video and I was surprised by how quiet I am in it. Because when. In the recordings, it sounds fine, but then once it gets onto YouTube, all of a sudden it's all silent. That's weird. Wish YouTube would not fuck with my audio, but not much I can do about that, I guess. So if there is, I don't know what it is. What do you want, you stupid little boy and your stupid little hat? Wonderful to see you again, Shanks. If there's anything I can do to pay you, name it. 
So the airship you seek is, in, is likely inside the, inside the stone vigil. It shames me to say that it too was once an outpost held by House High, High and Art. In the chaos that followed the calamity, the Javanian horde caught us unawares. The fiends have held the outpost ever since. As we like the, lack the strength of arms to retake the stone vigil, House Durandare instead has been charged with the duty. Given that, I doubt that my words will carry much weight with Lord Geomon. Nevertheless, I will write you, write you your letter. Before you depart, a word of caution. The cravens who attempted to destroy House High and Art have yet to be unmasked. Though their plans were foiled, they doubtless still harbor great hatred, hatred towards us, and towards you now as well. Uh, cheerful. Alright, um... So you have to drive all the way over there, how fun. So I'm getting close, we're getting close, to, there's gonna be a new job in episode coming soon. If I happen to hit it today, because I have a few hours to record, I have about three hours to record before I, it's baby time. Um, if I hit it today, I might not, I might just wait till my next recording session to do it. The trip, yeah, maybe, I don't know, we'll see how things go. See how I'm feeling. So yeah, so I moved over, I got, um, and I got my bribe, my chocobo feathers, which I used to get that chocobo that I, the big red one. And I also got ten pots of jet black dye, which I'm going to be incredibly choosy about when and when and what I use it on, because that shit's expensive. Uh, you can usually only get it either by buying it from the store with actual money, or by having one of your retainers happen to bring it to you. Um, so, it sells on the market board for like, between four and six hundred thousand gold, like, easy. It's very expensive. So, I have to make sure I use it on things that I definitely want it to be the blackest of black. Hello? You desire an audience with Lord Dreamont, do you? Ha! Huh, I desire a night in a warm bed with my wife, but wishing won't make it so. I have letters. What do we have here? Letters from Lord's Horse of and Francel, is it? A likely. Oh, you're serious. Hmm, what to do, what to do. Oh, great, I'm gonna. So I have a sneaky suspicion I'm about to get the one around. Your timing could not have been worse, Traveler. Lord Dreamont's attentions are focused solely on the Stone Vigil at present. In any case, it is not my responsibility to escort visitors. Take your letters and show them to to Sir Albois. Yes, Sir Albois shall can surely accommodate you. See her in the storeroom on the opposite side of the yard. Okay. Oh look, the snooty child is here. Oh, I missed. Hold on. I'm going to put this on my hot bar so that I can... Wait, I already did put it on my hot bar. God damn it. See, this is what happens when you don't play the game for a while. You forget that the throw was already on your hot bar. Oh, let's get closer so that I'll actually hit him. Here we go. Ha ha! Take that, snooty child! Alright, alright, alright! Oh, goodbye. Hey, you're involved in the Ixel quest. What's up, lady? I'm supposed to give you these letters. Sir Bruna, uh, Brunadier bade you speak with me, did he? I know not why he presumed I would be in a better position to help, but I assure you that he is mistaken. Though Driamont hasn't the time to spend speaking with low ranking knights as such as I. However, he always has a moment to spare for the head Kyrugian um, Estidian. Why not visit the infirmary upstairs and show your letters to him? Okay. Wee. Moogle. 
like that I am dressed better for the cold this episode instead of wearing my summer gear. Hello Sid, what's up? The Enterprise is indeed located inside the stone vigil, then we must convince Lord Jeremont to cooperate. Yeah, thanks for that. Hey gay. Are you here to visit a patient, sir? What's this? Letters of introduction from House for Tom and High in Art. With a document such as these, you needn't seek an escort. Pray proceed to the barracks and speak with the Sir Go to no. Go to. Speak with that guy. He should know Lord Geomont's current whereabouts. Okay. Wee. Dang. Wee. Wee. Wee! 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 Okay. Fuck you, striking dummy! I killed it for you. Okay. Um. There we go. Uh, there you are, Sir... Sir Gouda. What's up, Sir Gouda? What reason have you for barging into... Oh, I see. Well, you are in luck. Lord Dreamont is just up these stairs. Letters or no, though, I would not expect much. House Durandare as, as a whole does not hold the adventurers in high regard. You had best state your intentions quickly and succinctly. Show proper respect and it shall be returned in kind. Okay, we... Ah! Ah! Game, why are you misbehaving? Come on. Behave yourself, game. Anyway, hey guy. Sir Gouda permitted your passage? Very well, speak. Here, take this and this. You wish to brave a ruined outpost filled with scalekin to secure an airship that may or may not be there. Are you the avatar of the Fury herself? No. We are the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, Lord Dreamont. You know our name and you know our deeds. We are come to Curthus to slay Garuda, Lady of the Vortex. To that end, we seek the Enterprise, the airship of Master Sidnan Garland, who stands before you now. Master Garland, you're alive? But that's impossible. Yeah, it is. Indeed it is, my lord. Ugh. Do not be deceived by their honeyed words. These foreigners are not to be trusted. At this critical moment in Hishgardian history, as House Durandare marshals its forces to retake the stone vigil, who should appear and wipe in front but three mysterious strangers? Sid Garland, missing and mis presumed dead since before the Calamity, and two scions of the Seventh Dawn, a defunct band of misfits recently exterminated by the Empire. The lesser houses may have been duped by these grandiose lies, but I should uh, hope that House Durandare would have a greater sense. I know not why these, seek th these three seek the Stone Vigil, but I know that we cannot permit them to pass. Thank you for your counsel, Inquisitor. For a moment, I nearly believed this mummer's farce. You three will not enter the outpost until we have reclaimed it, and until you declare your true intentions as well. <sighs> it could be moons before House Durandare purges the dragons from the stone vigil. We cannot afford to wait that long. Sid, Shanks, we must do whatever it takes to learn jo Lord Dreamon's trust. Understood? Okay. Hey, baby, that's all classes at 40. Um, okay, I don't need to talk to you. Okay, let's see, who to talk to, who to talk to. Down. Down. Talk to this guy, what's up, man? You wanna... Hold on a second, I'm gonna try something. Uh, at 
Adventurer, I hear some of my brother knights have made it of you a drudge. Fie, by the fury, set your sights higher. I have for you a gallant mission. Slay the Dravanian outwatchers that tremel our steps. They are as dogs, cherishing the Dravanians in, in the wordless forests of their minds. Uh, even though a fairy wing that vanish, every thought a fairy wing that vanishes by nightfall. Brandish these dragon scales when the outwatchers are near, and they will come. Um, okay. All right. Looks like that helped a little bit. I just stopped and restarted the recording. Seems to have helped things a little bit. What's up, man? We have a brat problem, and if nothing's done about it now, we shall soon have a supply problem and a plague problem. They're no more content with the kitchen than the pot boy is, and have a, a run of the outpost. They feed off our scraps, unwanted guests at a meager, meager feast. See if you can't have a good look around and roust up a few to slay. Okay, slow man. Are you the lad responsible for that commotion upstairs? Aye, word travels fast and might burn front. I gather you still wish to change Lord Dreamont's mind? If there's one thing I've heard learned about the man in my time here, it's that he listens to and respects the opinions of those under his command. Went over the barracks and he's sure to take notice. How, you ask? That's easy. Serve the poor souls a decent fare for a change. The last few supply shipments contained no meat whatsoever and the knights are right rightfully beginning to complain. I'm thinking we could prepare them steaks using mud puppy tail meat. It wouldn't be a quality meal, it is true, but it's a damp sight better than nothing. If you've a mind to lend a hand, why not rate a lurking mud puppy in Danifin Pass? Take this bottle of vinegar. Locals say it weakens mud puppies by clogging the mucus glands, drying their skin. Okay. That sounds yucky, but I shall do it. Um, for more, more questuses. So many questuses in the area. Here's a questuses. Hello, sir. What's your questuses? A word, if I may, adventurer. As much as it pains me to say this, I must. Go to the gates of judgment. Deliver a petition to Sir Marshalane. Tell him, tell him we need reinforcements. The common folk are toil won worn from the constant skirmishes with the dragons, and the mood goes dark in the front. We teeter on the knife edge and will surely fall. Okay. Um, there's some inside, right? Pretty sure. Yes. What's inside? What's up, man? Oh, adventurer, I claim your time in the name of the whole holy, holy sea. Search the body downstairs for personal effects and deliver the lot to the gates of judgment. He was a heretic in life. You need not be gentle. Usually, we leave the carcass for the crows, but as you well know, there has been some trouble of late, and now we're told to rifle through these lousy pockets. Low work it is, and I leave you to it. You'll find not but nits, but I, uh, not but nits, I'll warrant. Gross. Ghost, ghost, ghost. Ghost, 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 ghost. Wee. Why don't you clear? Don't just leave it. This is gonna cause people can get sick. You're gonna make people sick. Leaving your little uh, bodies lying around. What's up, dude? Mahaha! Do you see? Do you see the great dragons? Javanna's Mundi has risen. Bend the knee. Bend the knee, bondsmen, before our righteous conquerors. They sent you, I know. A slave or a servant, a, ser a slave or a servant. Those are the choices, so many voices. Shh, I must make an offering. Quickly, bondsman, tell the slave Verdelay to send a fattened calf. A fattened calf? What are you doing? They cannot keep me down here. I bet they can. Um. Okay. Boyle wants another sacrifice, eh? That crazy, unbelieving son of a the, of a troll, he won't to shut up when he gets in this state. Makes these dungeons a living hell, believe you me. Here, just give him this dead rat. It'll keep him quiet for a bit. He does these rituals, you know. Fair turns to stomach, but anything for a little peace. Okay. Boyle needs enrichment. Hello. Bondsman, I see the Thrall Fertilay has prepared for us the fatted calf. The Dragon Lords will be most pleased. Beautiful? Hmm. Innocent. Shh, my moo cow. Don't tell them you're innocent. It's worse that way. Oh, Javanus Mundi, uh, accept this offering and let me be reborn in flames. 
uh, pine pitch pigs fat dry brush rock oil don't forget hair hair burns but a little bronze rattle that he loves so well uh, that only melts ha <laughs> that only melts okay Finally, some peace. I tell you, some of these un unbelievers seem normal enough at first, but they show their true face after the Inquisitors get to work on them. Best not consort with them that's in the dungeons, eh? Uh, okay. Okay, you guys. You guys. Oh my god. Hey, wait. The eyes. Oh no! Chocobo Keep, I, I need to introduce myself to you. Oh, yep, yeah, okay, yep, yeah, fine. Nope. in here. Anybody here got a questuses? Oh, questuses! I'm coming seeking questuses! Not inside, okay. Nope, oh, nope. Oh, there we go. Here we go. Um... Oh, look, stinky. Poor soul, she has a betrothed, yet she will die without hearing his voice speak the words of passing. He deserted, you see, on the eve of a battle with the dragons. He now languishes in the dungeons. I cannot give her more time, not with such medicines as I possess at any rate. At the very least, take word to, to her love, Lawrence, that he might say such prayers as he is able. Okay. Um, what's over here now? Oops, 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 there we go. Bam, okay. You weren't in here before. Okay. What can an adventurer want with a man whose purse is empty and named it best marched? What? The words of passing? No, they said she was on the mend. If you've ever loved, hear me. There's something hidden hid in the forest southeast of here. You shall know it by the sign. Take it to her Kairuj and I beg you. Okay. Um, I think I still have one more rat. Yes. There you go. Oh, there it is. I see it. I knew there was one over by this door.
Oops. Inside. Inside where? Inside here. To you. What's up, man? I killed the rats. Good and well, that's few of the virgin vermin to get out our larder. They remain too numerous, however. There must be a large nest somewhere down below. Kill the rat king and the common rats will lose heart, something both we and the dragons know well. I've tracked the rats as well as I can, and they look to slip outside as often as not. There must be an opening that leads to the nest somewhere outside the stronghold. Okay. Wee, wee, wee. Um, where was it? Was it over here? No. Over here. Oh, wait, no. Outside. Outside. Outside the stronghold, which means outside. Outside means outside. It means not inside. There you go. There it is. I think these ones that are going to take you to the um, Gates of Judgment are going to do off screen. Oh, uh, no, wrong button. Here it is. Alchemic concoction, huh? Okay. Um, now I need to kill a mud puppy. This way. Uh uh. Is that f uh, fanfare means that this is a particularly tricky fate that is not intended for one person? So we shall ignore it and move on. Will you get over here? No fighting with my mices. We're busy. We got shit to do, boy. Um, has he leveled up any time? Oh no, he, I already spent them right, I remember. Ignore this fate. Probably. Um, what did I 
Johnny Cam. Yawning. Uh, it's upstairs. Hey, lady! I found something on the ground. Ah, the poor soul. She still bleeds, but... Adventure, does he pray for her soul? No. An alchemic concoction, as costly as it is hard to obtain. You say it was hidden in the forest? This bottle holds the truth of Lawrence's desser desertion. He ran that he might find it for her, and when he knew he was to be captured, he took great pains to hide it, knowing his pursuers would have simply destroyed it as a traitor's refuge. I cannot thank you enough for keeping faith in him. Now, if you will pardon me, I have a patient to save. Cool! Ah, uh, you got beat up. Um... Sure, I don't have anything to talk about this episode. I'm just running around doing stuff. Yeah, we can do some more of this. No! Snooty boy, get snowballed, idiot! Okay. There you go. Now get snowballed, idiot! Do, do, do. Hey, guy, I killed your rat. That's the end of the king, is it? Well struck. We'll see uh, less of the foul little things, I expect. That said, they, uh, do they not say in your fair home city that rats abandon a sinking ship? Perhaps I should more rightly take it as a good omen that the rats uh, deign to stay in white brim. Oh, he, was a refer he was referring to me being from... Uh, I'm sad. They don't, they just don't do that very often. It's cool. Um, hey. It didn't work, did it? I thought it was an idiotic idea. No, it worked. Here you go. Oh dear. Remind me to never wander near Bob, Mud Puppy spawning grounds without a bottle of vinegar. Anyway, oh, this should only take a moment. I just need you to do this, or I just, I'll just need to do this, and this, and voila! Never seen a man cook sticks this, that fast, have you? Take these three and distribute them to the hungry knights here and up above. Okay. Hello, dude. You there, lad. Don't think I didn't see you and the cook conspiring together. Let me make myself perfectly clear. If you wish to buy my trust with a stake, it will be it would be my pleasure to oblige you. There you go. Ha 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 ha! Yes, yes, I feel invigorated, refreshed, as if I have the strength of ten men and their wits besides. I, I should have no trouble concocting a new reason to refrain from sentry duty. I believe in you. You can do it. What's up, lady? We ought at least to receive a hearty meal before we march off to die in this god's forsaken waste. There you go. Is that a fresh cooked steak? How long these blessings be upon you, my friend? Mud puppy meat or no, it is the most delicious food I've had in a fortnight. Well, isn't that lovely for you? Up uh, we go. Stairs. Wee wee. Bam 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 bam. Um. Hey. The dragon minions are dead. Now, do you not feel do you not feel like a man grown with honor intact? Now uh, that you removed one of the obstacles to the retaking of 
know that you removed one of the obstacles to the retaking of the stone vigil. How like the Javanians to send their ma mindless servants to do their dirty work. We have the advantage over them. For all who serve Ishgar, do so free, proud, and clear of thought. Uh-huh, sure. Ow. Hey, guy, take a steak. Ever we must maintain our skill at arms, yet never are we to receive proper sustenance. You are a godsend, my friend. Too few appreciate that House Durandair must do more than its fair share for the sake of Ishgard. Okay. We. We. Okay. It feels wonderful to see everyone in such high spirits. Amazing what good food can do for morale. Eh? Ah, but I've forgotten about the high ro hard-working Kyrugians in at the infirmary. So rarely do they take their meals here in the hall. Am I taking the stakes to Sonoda? She's uh, doubtless so preoccupied with the health of her patients that she's neglected to attend to her own. Okay. Whee! Running past you. Infirmary, infirmary, infirmary is this way. Infirmary! Infirmary! Am I going that way? Who does this lady look like? I forgot. Who's this lady? Hello! Beg your pardon, sir, but I am busy attending to this man. I, I will be with you in a moment. You have pink hair! Is that. Come to think of it, it has been quite a while since I last ate. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to have a nibble. Oh my, this is fantastic! Thank you so much! I'll eat the vest right away! Cool! Thank you! Um, I'll take this because I'm... put on my tanking gear right now. Hey, guy! Might I have a word with you, Shanks? It concerns the Kyrugians. After speaking with them earlier, I learned that they lack sufficient alembics for their needs, you see. So I use some of their broken equipment to craft a more advanced alembic, both as a get gesture of goodwill and as a means to help me recover my memory since working with my hands kindles familiar feelings. All I require to complete the device are the cores of three ice bites. Though commonly used to reduce temperatures of alchemical mixtures, there is a way to alter their properties so that they draw the cold uh, so they draw the cold within rather than radiate it without. It must sound ridiculous to you. Impossible, even. Yet somehow I know it will work. Oh, okay. I mean, like, I don't... wasn't gonna question it. I just trust you to know what you're talking about. Because you are the expert. Do-do-do-do! Um, I'm going the right way. Hey, hey. Hey, am I going the right way? I guess I'm going perfectly adequate way. Whee. Um, there's one. Ah, evil rodent. Dead. Okay. Okay. Um, there's one, here's another one. to do the last one. Yeah, let's go for a different ice bite. One away from the big monster.
Okay. Um. Let's drive back. I'm not going to drive the motorcycle inside because that's rude. I got your thingies. Have you obtained the cores? If so, please show them to me. Yep, here you go. What an amazing device! But is it truly an Alembic, sir? I've never seen his like before. I too am sure what to make of this machine. Well, certainly impressive, I've no idea how to make use of it. Nevertheless, if it is as effective as he claims, it will be a great boon to the infirmary. Think of the medicines we could create, the lives we could save. Even so, I wonder. Where the the kindly stranger, bear, bearer of griffs, wondrous and strange, for his generosity comes at a cost. Ugh, is this asshole again. Their earnest efforts are but a means to an as yet unknown end. Moreover, you should be wary of associating with individuals who have interfered with the questioning of a suspected heretic. They did what? Bless you, Inquisitor, for coming along when you did. We almost suc succumbed to the temptation proffered by these, these unbelievers. <laughs> Ugh. It's a pain in the ass. Why does that man detest us so? Is it all because we interrupted Lord Francel's trial? Uh, yeah. Whatever his reasons, he clearly means to oppose us at every turn. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty obvious. Um... Can your little thingy change color, please? Dude. Thank you. Okay. Before we can persuade Lord Dreamont to help us, it seems we must convince an Inquisitor uh, game that we are not his enemy. But what did just? But just how might we go about doing that? We know little and less about the good Inquisitor, despite him being such a prominent figure in Curthus. Perhaps we should learn more by speaking with the people of Vibram Front. So share your fightings with Alphano in the square. I'm sure he can formulate a strategy from there. Alrighty. I came to people. Not these people. These people already don't trust me. Wee! Hey, guy. What's up? Uh, Inspector G uh, Inquisitor Guillaume? Yes, of course I know him. Yeah, alas, I've not seen him since the day he came to Ripon Front several moons ago. My memory is somewhat muddled, but I recall that a blizzard nearly buried us in snow that day, and I had the ill fortune of being assigned to the night's watch. While the strongholds slept, we walked to the walls and patrolled the exterior in a darkness black as pitch. My route took me outside the eastern gate at one point, where I caught sight of a silhouette illuminated by the light of the city. Thinking it was a wayward traveler, I cried out and gave chase, but, I slipped, but slipped and took a terrible fall. When I woke, it was days later in this very bed, where I have lain recuperating from my injuries ever since. I had tried to rescue him, but in the end, Inquisitor Guillaume rescued me, carrying my unconscious body to the gates. I owe him my life, sir, and I hope one day to one day repay his kindness. Okay. Um. Yee. Looking to talk to people. Oh, other people to talk to. Hello, lady, can I talk to you? In the Inquisitor game, I have in the foggest of whom you speak, unbeliever. I, we have heard of your deeds at Witch Drop. I will not be party to whatever dastardly schemes you've hatched against the Inquisitor. Away with you. Why is it people... Just, you gotta make a big damn deal about me not worshipping Halone and I'm not even for Mishgard. Jeez. Jesus. Jesus. Hey guy, guy over here, guy. What's up, guy? 
Under Inquisitor Guillaume's watchful gaze, the unprecedented numbers of unprecedented numbers of heretics have been unmasked and brought to justice. They say he goes days without sleep, so great is his devotion. Blessed are we to have such a, a goodly righteous man to protect us. Okay. Um over here. Over here. Hey, mud puppy man. The Holy See has decreed that in the Inquisitors are the arbiters of Halone's will. They are to be afforded every courtesy and the utmost respect. Okay. Let's go back to Alphano. Sure. Hmm. In case you've yet to notice, my attire is ill-suited to this climate, and the fact that you keep throwing snowballs at me certainly is not helping. I realized it soon after our arrival, but paid it no mind as I had hoped we might find the Enterprise far faster. Instead, we've wasted far too much time meddling in local affairs. <sighs> Never mind. Our journey is almost at an end. All that remains is to deal with this irksome Inquisitor. Sid tells me you've been busy making inquiries, yes? Hmm. It should come as no surprise that he is held in high regard. Even so, I am beginning to suspect he has other reasons for hindering us now. Let us more closely review the testimonials you obtained, Shanks. Mayhap they will provide an insight into Inquisitor Game's motivations. Hmm. Mayhap they will. But I suppose we will find out in the next episode. Until then. Oh, I've leveled again. How nice. But yes, but until then, everybody, have yourselves a good goddamn day. Uh, bye.